Hello, we're at Liquid Art. I'm here with Danielle, who is a co-owner, and uh, just kind of wanted to introduce you to her. Hi. Hello, I'm Danielle. I'm co-owner with my husband, David. Okay. And um, the dream really started when he was in high school. He started with planting vineyard when he was about 15. Right. And um, we had met in college. I was originally in education and met him. He told me that he always had a dream of building a winery and planting vineyard here in Kansas. So I actually changed my degree to marketing, okay. and uh, we decided one day we'd make a great team. So, he would make the wine and I would sell it. <laughs> Here we so, so I have actually worked at a, a vineyard in Southern Illinois, okay. which is an awesome job to have. It's good. But this is the first vineyard I've actually ever had hard cider at. Uh, I was here, it was great with a bunch of people, and you probably saw them a little earlier. Uh, but what I was drinking was the a hard cider caramel apple, which is awesome. I know that's seasonal, it's not here all the time. So are you more a seasonal kind of flavor, or do you have your standards too? Yeah, great question. So my husband started in the wine industry after he got his degree making hard cider. Okay. Um, and that was kind of something that we decided, not everybody likes wine, so let's offer an additional choice. So we created a piano tap. This is awesome. Can you see <laughs> this? Tap, piano. It looks like you actually play it. Uh, you can. <laughs> I get much better the more you drink. Okay. Um, but we have both wines or hard ciders that we carry year round as well as seasonals. So the top four that are in white are carried year round and they don't change. Okay. Correct. And then we have three taps that we change on a seasonal basis. Okay, cool. So you got uh, the hard cider and tell me about your uh, regular ones. Yeah, so right now we're getting a lot of our grapes from my husband's original vineyard at his hometown here in Kansas. Okay. Um, whenever he planted vineyard when he was 15. And then um, we have other vineyards that we have under contract or manage that we get our crop from. And we make it all here on site where we crush it, we destem it, firm it, bottle, and then we hand it every single one in wax. Oh, that's great. I noticed the vineyards out in uh, the fields. Uh -huh. uh, you, you get uh, your grapes out there too, or are they Next still going? Next year will be our first crop. Okay. We planted our estate vineyard in 2015. Okay, so it does take a couple of years Correct. for your uh, vines to get. So can you show me one of your best wines that you have? Yeah. That you I'm, really like? Uh, <laughs> well, my personal favorite, because it is the driest of them all, is our red blend. Okay. Um, so we had our green opening July of 2015. Okay. And we were sold out of this by February. Wow. So maybe I drank too much of it myself, <laughs> but this is one of our very popular ones. Okay. Wines. So if you want to notice, really cool uh, art on here. It's uh, liquid art and it's very much art inspired. So you do events out here too. And I just think I overheard you booking a wedding. <laughs> yes. So um, we have an event center that can host weddings or corporate events up okay. to 375. Um, so our first year we had 19 weddings and this year we have 42. So we're staying busy. That's good. And um, our event center is connected to our tasting room. We run them simultaneously, but okay. the event center still has the gorgeous views that we have here on the property. All right. We're at late summer, early fall, and we've been here uh, from two o'clock. It's a little after six. Uh, and today I saw a bachelorette party? Bridal shower. Bridal shower, uh, a birthday, and uh, just a bunch of friends just getting together. So uh, this is a great place. It's in Manhattan. Uh, can you tell us how to get here? Yeah, so we are on the west side of town okay. on Manhattan. We are basically halfway between the airport and Colbert Hills, but we're on Scenic Drive and Wildcat Creek Road. Okay, and what's your hours usually? So we're open Thursdays through Sundays. Um, Thursdays typically four to nine, Fridays and Saturdays noon to nine, and Sundays noon to six. And do you have a down season? So starting in November through um, end of April, we will close at eight versus nine. Okay, so everybody, uh, you need to come out here, especially people in Manhattan. You're just right down the road, K-State people. This is a great place to take a weekend trip. Uh, you can get here very easily. Uh, you take 70. You get off at 70 gig intersex. What, K-18? K-18, and you can just follow that right in. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for Thank letting you. me be here. I appreciate it. All right, bye. Bye, y'all.